Okay, today I'm gonna do a, a receiver test uh, to, um, to make a dipole antenna to see if they get a better range on 2.4 gigahertz. Um, this quad has the X4R uh, receiver with the regular antenna that they come with the receiver and they mount it like this. Uh, everything is default and let's see how much range um, for this quad to be. So I'm gonna just uh, put the Tyrannus radio into the uh, SSI uh, to see how far I can go with this one okay so I'm gonna use this thing to mark my locations uh, let's walk back from the uh, chair there so I'm just uh, gonna just gonna walk, walk to the location where I got a 50 uh, uh, SSI let's turn turn it way back here that's a chair there that uh, there and that's 49 already so I'm gonna keep it steady uh, so 51 I'm gonna walk until it's 50 so 51 still there you go okay 50 uh, okay there you go okay 50 so 49 50 I'm gonna leave a box here that's the chair I'm gonna leave this box right at this around this location where I got 50. So you see around that's a bush. So, so that's the location there. So alright. So at 50 RSSI. I put a location here. Okay, let's do another test for the uh, T in Moto T dipole antenna to see if I get a better range uh, for this one. So, so I'm gonna pause the video here and uh, set up the other quad exactly the same with the T uh, dipole antenna. If I get a better range with that antenna, okay. All right, continue with the other quad. This quad has a T uh, immortal T or whatever that I did it myself. I mod modded it myself. Uh, I mount it like this uh, and one location at the bottom of the uh, the arm. Um, this is my first time mounting this one. I might move it somewhere more convenient. So here it is. Just leave exactly the same quad on, on the chair like this a location. Uh, and I'm going to turn my uh, receiver to range mode. Okay, I'm going to pause the video here. Okay, so I'm in my uh, range mode here. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn on my range mode. Okay, that's the RSSI 87. So I'm gonna walk back exactly the same location. See if I can get better range. So there. So 66. I know. Let's walk. Let's walk right that way. So you see the uh, mark location where I got the 50 R SSI for the other uh, default Fry Sky X4R receiver here. So let's at this location see what R SSI that I have. Still a 61. So I'm gonna walk backward. Uh, that's the chair there, and that's the uh, previous locations. So it's still 60 still 60 so okay so keep the range there you see that mark location there and that's still at 54 that's in the range mode okay this is in the uh, testing mode for the fly sky receiver those they have exactly the same uh, receiver so right now I'm still at okay 50 already so somewhere around here see I would say it's double range so whatever the location here that I'm at so this is a bush here that you can see uh, that's another you know, bush there so right about this section here I see that I, I'm like 51 right now 50 so twice the range with the T dipole antenna 
um, I'm gonna show you how to um, make it uh, T uh, double antenna Th these antenna come with TBS tracer so let's walk a little bit more now you go it's 51 still even longer than that let's let's walk see if till critical so it's still 48 49 I think that I, I, the range get really far uh, with this uh, modify antenna so I'm recording on the phone so you can see here so there you go it's 48 48 still 49 50 see the antenna is so good you get more range with the t-double antenna uh i think that i'm gonna modify all my quad that on 2.4 gigahertz frequency the radio receiver um i think that i did order express los um uh, they come with the T, in the T antenna. So let's walk back to the quad, to that location. So I think that I got twice the range for this just simple modification of the antenna. I'm gonna show you how to make it very easy, very uh, nothing, nothing is hard. Uh, so here, come back to the first location. Uh, for the uh, stock receiver so so I'm happy with the results uh, I, I don't come up with this one it's on the RC group uh, uh, forum that they show how to do it but uh, that's really helpful for anyone that flying 2.4 gigahertz uh, receiver um, okay all right